dear students in this video we are going to uh, study about the computation of capital gain to compute the capital gain we need to prepare two important columns first is particulars and second is amount in particulars the first thing what we need to do is we need to write full value of consideration the value what we have got by selling our capital assets by transferring our capital assets that value is called as full value of consideration in that we need to remove less cost of acquisition and then we need to remove cost of improvement these two cost need to be removed in the full value of consideration then whatever thing we get is called as the expenditure on transfer of capital gains in that we need to remove exemption under section 54 then when you remove exemption under section 54 the final amount what you get is called as taxable capital gain now first term is full value consideration the full value consideration means it uh, includes the whole or a complete sale price what is the whole or a complete sale price that value or it is also called as an exchange value or compensation uh, including enhanced compensation received in respect of capital asset in transfer the following points are important to note in relation to full value of consideration right these things should be uh, we have to keep in mind while calculating full value of consideration first is the consideration may be in cash or a kind the consideration for full value uh, consideration should maybe in cash or it may be in kind similarly the consideration received in kind is valued at the fair market value whatever is the fair market value at that value the consideration will be received similarly it may be received or receivable it can be received exactly or actual amount or it may be receivable also similarly the last important point is the consideration must be actual it should be actual irrespective of adequacy we don't give important for the adequacy the important will be given for the actual amount second important thing is the cost of acquisition the cost of acquisition coa means the capital expenses at the time of acquiring when you acquire an asset what are the capital expenditures you have done the capital assets under uh, transfer to include the purchase price right first of all the cost of acquisition or a purchase price is included then expenses incurred up to acquiring date in the form of registration storage expenses incurred on completing transfer etc various process after acquiring various things included whether it can be registration whether it can be storage whether it can be any other thing associated with the cost of asset in other words cost of acquisition of an asset is the value for which it was acquired by necessity expenses of capital nature for completing or acquiring the title are included in the cost of acquisition the expenses will be taken into consideration and the, those expenses will be added for completing the acquisition now to calculate cost of acquisition we also call it as indexed cost of acquisition the formula is indexed cost of acquisition equal to cost of acquisition into cii of year of transfer then divided by cii of year of acquisition okay now if you see the inflation index right cost of inflation index are being given right from 1991 to 2005 6 index are there now we need to take the latest index till uh, 19 and 20 those index will be taken so uh, transfer year index divided by acquisition index into cost of acquisition if you do you will get index cost of acquisition now coming back to the second point it is cost of improvement cost of improvement it is the capital expenditure incurred by an SSC for making additional or improvement in capital assets you have bought it acquired it now after acquiring and buying it you want to do certain improvement 
now for that improvement of the capital assets if you spend the amount the cost of improvement need to be calculated it also includes any uh, expenditure incurred in protecting or curing the title in other words cost of improvement includes expenditure which are incurred to increase the value of capital assets right the capital assets which were working at a normal phase now to improve improve the capital assets if you are doing any expenditures even those are also called as cost of improvement now index cost of improvement equal to to calculate index cost the formula is cost of improvement into cii of transfer year divided by cii of improvement year 